you just leave us the Mexico cowboy along. But now leave me alone. After a bit of room service, a good night's rest, and a whole lot of water, Big F suited up and was ready to ride south to my hometown of Albuquerque. Stopping by my parents for a home-cooked meal, Chad weighed his options, push on together or put dad on a flight home and continue alone. Well, the green chili must have done the trick. Big F mounted up and was ready to push on. After a quick stop in Grants, the boys rolled into Gallup and Hotel El Rancho. An obligatory stop for the celebrities of yesteryear, boasting the charm of yesterday and the convenience of tomorrow. On the morning of day number 10, the boys left the land of enchantment and rolled into Arizona. Seven states down, and only one more to go. After satisfying Big F's need to peruse the local trading posts, they set their sights on the petrified forest. <laughs> After leaving the park and crossing a seemingly innocuous set of railroad tracks into Holbrook, things suddenly went pear-shaped. Uh, just try to take off and looks like I've got a flat tire. The rear tire was shredded. Chad was forced to concede and call in the cavalry. This is dad patiently waiting here at, at A&W while uh, I await a tow truck. The closest tire was a hundred miles away at Grand Canyon Harley on the other side of Flagstaff. Morning, sweetheart. Hi. You ready to uh, jump in a tow truck? We'll be on the right hand side. Is this a little more comfortable than the motorcycle? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not exactly how they planned on rolling in a Flagstaff, but. Luckily, we have to be right next to the Roadhouse Bar and Grill. Things definitely could have been worse. After getting a fresh white wall and grabbing a room in town, the guys decided to take a day off from Route 66 and detour to Grand Canyon National Park for some sightseeing. Why don't you give me that water? Huh? Why don't you give me that? <laughs> now the idea is not to walk over, right? Yeah, don't don't walk over. I won't even sit on it. You just stand there and look at it. Well, how, what do you think? How's it look? Huh? How's it look? Oh, it's very impressive. Very impressive? Very, very impressive. Yeah. 
glad you brought me here. You're glad I brought you here? Very, you're, very much. You're not mad at me anymore? I never have been mad at you. <laughs> I don't know about all that. After taking in the views and holding court, Chad decided to treat Fred to an early lunch at El Tovar, where once again, things went sideways. Ooh, so here at the beautiful Grand Canyon, yeah, it's kind of in the background, you know what it looks like. Anyway, um, yeah, got the new uh, rear tire yesterday and uh, spent the night in Flagstaff, rode up to Grand Canyon uh, this morning and the fucking stator died. So I was able to bump start it in second gear and get it going again and park it uphill. And then after lunch, I'm gonna do my best to make it back over to Grand Canyon Harley and uh, we'll probably be stuck over the weekend uh, while they do whatever it is they have to do, replace the stator troubleshoot it I have no idea I suck with electrical shit so so we're either going to uh, spend the weekend in Flagstaff um, and wait for them to get the the bike up and running again or I might put dad on a plane and fly him back to LA kind of his choice so bummer bummer uh, you know flat tire no big deal bad stator a little more of an issue so all right the adventure continues mounting up Chad kept a watchful eye on the gauges on their way back to Harley, hoping for a simple solution. So apparently it's the uh, voltage regulator that's gone bad, but they don't have one here. The closest voltage regulator is in Kingman, Arizona, if they're even willing to ship it over and they're closed Sunday, Monday. I don't know, uh, this might be the end of the trip for dad, we'll see. <laughs> Fred was more than happy to spend the day in front of the television soaking up some AC. By chance, the Overland Expo was in Flagstaff that very weekend, and one of Chad's friends happened to be a presenter. Chad and Dustin met in 2019 while crossing the Darien Gap on the stall right together, and have kept in touch ever since. After catching up, Chad whittled away the day, admiring land cruiser conversions, and marveling at the various ways in which people attempt to buy their freedom. Yep. Your eyes do not deceive you. This is in fact an Africa twin with a winch. They've got some Overland Expo swag here. I think I'll pass. Uh, yeah, kind of drizzling here in Flagstaff. Interesting event, that's for sure. Interesting, yeah. Until returning to the room to find Big F just as he left him. Dad, have you ever eaten a burrito before? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Sure. You realize that's not corn on the cob, right? I don't think I've ever seen anyone eat a burrito like that. Mm. How do they eat them? They, they usually eat it from the end. Uh -huh. After three days in Flagstaff, a few microwave burritos, more than a few games of pool, and a new voltage regulator, the boys were finally back on the road. Through Williams and Seligman, from gas station to teepee, from soda fountain to burger joint, they soaked up as much Route 66 kitsch as possible on their way to Kingman, the gateway to Oatman, Arizona the Mother Road's most fabled ghost town. Kingman, the boys set their sights on the old mining town of Oatman, 
hoping to strike it rich, or at least meet some of their famous residents. Ooh, not a bad view. Cold Springs. Here we go, up to open. Alas, it was not to be. The ghost town was just that, completely deserted. But the ride into town more than made up for it. After a brief tour, Chad and Big F departed for the state line when they spotted something in the distance. Give him. Me too. After a brief chat and a few selfies with one of the locals, the boys once again set their sights on the Colorado River and their home state of California. <laughs> After a stop at Barstow Station for an ice cream and a chat with Ronald. Hey Dad, go ahead and give Ronald a kiss. Give me... <laughs> nice. Big F decided to call it. His Route 66 journey was over. And with no real desire to tour downtown San Bernardino or battle Hollywood traffic on their way to Grauman's Chinese Theater, who was Chad to argue? Forgoing the formalities, they jumped on the freeway and rolled into Santa Monica, the official end of Route 66. We are in Santa Monica, at, right next to the pier. Yep, at the end of Route 66. Route, route 66. Yes, sir, you made it. Good job, high five. Hey. High five. Okay. All right. After over two weeks and uh, couple thousand plus miles we finally made it after 15 days 2669 miles and memories that will last a lifetime Chad and Big F for home <laughs> welcome home hey. Hey. thumbs up <laughs> made uh, I made it. You guys did. I didn't even kill him. Huh? <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs>